Okay, so you have read the question. We have a car and a truck. I have drawn a beautiful car and a not quite so beautiful truck. Uh, what do we know? The first step, of course, in any problem is to write down our givens. In this problem, we have two, uh, two objects, right? The car and the truck, so we're going to do givens for each. The truck is a little easier, so we'll start with it. The truck, they said it has a constant velocity of 10. So under truck, I'm going to write V equals 10 meters per second. The truck goes by at a constant velocity for a while. Now, it's going to travel a certain distance in a certain time. And all we really know about it is that the velocity is 10 the whole time. We'll fill in those other two in a second. That's all we know. So let's go back to the car. The car started with a velocity of zero. So its initial velocity was zero. V1 is zero for the car. Once I write V1, I automatically write A, D, T, V2 because I know I've got a big five problem on my hands, so I'm going to write all five of my variables. No problem. V1 is zero. What else do we know? We said the acceleration of the car was two meters per second squared. And that's all we were told. So, what do we do? You've got to understand, the truck goes by, then the car starts and eventually speeds up, and eventually it will catch back up to the truck. So if you understand the question, I hope you can see that if the truck goes x meters before the car catches it, the car also has to go x meters. The point here is that the displacement of the car and the truck are the same when they catch up. So I'm going to write the displacement of the truck equals d. And I'm going to write the displacement of the car, this is a c here, the displacement of the car, I'm also going to call that d. Now if it takes the car 10 seconds to catch up to the truck, then the truck has been driving for how long? 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever it is. So their times are also going to be the same. So I'm going to call the time for the truck t. I'm going to call the time for the car t. I don't know what it is, but I'm not just going to put a question mark like we used to do in some of the easier problems. Because if we just put a question mark, we can't do anything with a question mark. Now, looking at the truck, I don't know D or T, but I know it's the same for the car and the truck. V, D, T. The only formula that exists that I know of for those three letters is V equals D over T. I'm going to rearrange this a little bit to say D equals V times T. And when I sub in my givens, I see that D equals 10 T. That is the equation of motion for the truck, but it's not a solution, right? Because that's just telling us every second the truck is going 10 meters. What about the car now? Looking at the car is given. The only thing that I don't know anything about for the car is V2. So clearly I have to use equation number three. I'm going to write it over here though, for the car. Equation number three, D equals V1T plus a half A T squared. Uh, subbing in my givens, V1 is zero, so I get D equals a half times two T squared. A half and two are going to cancel, so D equals T squared. I've got an equation for the position of the car, and I've got an equation for the position of the truck, and I hope you can sort of see now that I have two equations and two unknowns. I can put them together, I can get an answer. Um, if d equals 10t and d equals t squared, then clearly 10t is equal to t squared. I just put these two equations together. Uh, rearranging this, I see that t squared minus 10t equals 0. I see that t times t minus 10 equals 0. And therefore, t can either equal 0 or 10 seconds t can equal zero. Yeah, that makes sense, because at the start, these things had the same displacement. Their displacements were zero. They were at the same spot. We've asked the big five equations here to find when the car and the truck are at the same spot at the same time by putting d and t in their given. So the math is telling us, hey, look, at zero time, they were in the same spot, and at 10 seconds. The question was actually how far does the car have to travel? They travel the same. I can put 10 into either equation. Either way, the distance that, say, the truck went is 10 meters per second times the 10 seconds. That's 100 meters. 
Or I could have said the displacement of the car, which is t squared, equals 10 seconds squared, 100 meters. The same answer, of course.